there's something really special about having an arcade cabinet in your home. Is it the joystick, the, the smell of the wood, the marquee being lit, the it being the attraction to any room? You know, the minute people walk in, they stare at it. This is gonna be my fourth build using a Game Room Solutions kit. I've done my vertical arcade kit. I've done my two-player bar top build. I've done their um, two-player Pandora's box style game pad. And now I have their upright light gun cabinet with riser, brand new. This just came out about a month ago or so. And you can see there's also a Terminator 2 one out there. There's a couple other designs. I want Jurassic Park. It was one of my favorite arcade games growing up, seeing that little Jeep-like arcade cabinet. And also, my nephew loves dinosaurs, so this was a hole-in-one for me. Got her. Get off me. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. What the? So when you get this, it's gonna be in a lot of different pieces and there's quite a little bit of details, but it's really, if you take step by step, it's not too bad. So in this video, I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty details. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to actually build this thing. In this video, I wanna show off the gameplay, the software, the details of the cabinet, you know, the, the computer I chose and the guns I chose and what games you can actually play with this thing. Room Solutions did send me this unit as a review unit and it is amazing. Check them out. I've done a lot of their builds now and uh, their kits are great, the graphics is great, customer service is great, and here it is, the shooter cabinet with riser. It's a tall cabinet. It's at least six feet tall by the time it's all said and done. It's a pretty serious thing. Great addition to any man cave room, dining room, living room, kitchen, bathtub, no. Wherever you can fit it, it's gonna look good. Solid. Could you dual weld, is that possible? Can you what? I always like to shoot like this. Is that right? Honestly, I was expecting it to be kind of cheap. Like the wood, like you know the one the one arcade ups are kind of cheap. Yeah. This is like legit. Dang, bro. How about with it all lit up? You like the marquee? The marquee's cool. This is uh, from some movie Jurassic Park, one of my favorites. Think with the big old computer here? Yeah, isn't that sick? I cut it in half. Yeah, yeah. It's water cool. Yeah, you wanna open this too? This is kind of a what? And it has the latches, that's actually kind of a nice touch. Dang, you like the latches? I do. It's connecting to a Windows computer, so you gotta use a mouse, then start it up. Well, the gun is a mouse. Watch, pull out the gun. And put it on the screen. What? Sick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch, close out of the window. I hit the guy. <laughs> Oops. Type in your name. Three digits. This game's scary. It's pretty good. The button reload. You can shoot the uh, tombstones. There's stuff underneath them. Damn, bro, you got some gold. Oh, he was just doing his job. He's just digging up graves. Bro, you killed an innocent. I did want to give you a quick tour of the back side here you can see where the power goes the pedestal all the way on the bottom there it's got a big hole opening here boom there you go the computer is in there you got room for the guns i've got my wires i even have the power on and off cable here reset and power for the computer instead of the io ports in the front of the case where they would normally go I have them rewired here. Plenty of ventilation here. <laughs> Looks crazy, right? Basically, I took the front of a computer off and it's just the motherboard tray in the PSU, the power supply there at the bottom. And I've had the power supply all the way at the top here on top of the case. It's zip tied to the top of the case. But first from the top now, I can lower and raise the volume. I've got access to all my ports on the back of my monitor here. This is just a, I have a little tie here to collect all the cables coming from on top. And then if you just kind of move my hand here, here I have the, um, the encoder board screwed on. Got my joystick, the two wires for the USB in the front. 
You've got your dual controls here. You got your auxiliary USB for keyboard, mouse, Xbox 360 controller, whatever you want. You got the little piece between the arcade buttons. You got your computer booting up. Uh, up here, you have your IR sensor, speaker, speaker, key all lit up. And man, does that look good. Looks really good. First thing is first is check out my light gun playlist because I have a ton of tutorials on how to set up these different emulators on your computer and the Raspberry Pi. I do kind of recommend the computer more so because you have a little bit more configuration on a Windows based system than you do with a Linux based system. Now, as far as games you can actually play, ArcadeGuns.com is a great resource as well. They talk about the Super Model 3 games, the MAME games, the M2 emulator, Sega Model 2 emulator, and different like PC games. There's PC games on Steam as well. So for MAME, I think he has a list here. Here you go, like Aliens 3, Bang, Beast Busters, Bubble Trouble, Carnival, uh, Chiller, and all these were, I've played most of these games, and because they're all on MAME, all you need is the MAME 64 emulator, and then down, look at that, Lethal Enforcers, I play that. Um, you know, Buck Hunter, Operation Wolf, Operation Wolf 3, Point Blank games were awesome. Zombie Raid is really cool all the way at the bottom here somewhere. Time Crisis, I love it. Terminator 2, one of my favorites. Um, you know, a lot of were Zombie Raid, okay. And then 0 0.1 and 2, also great. And then Zombie Raid. That's just on the MAME. That should keep you occupied. Uh, but then you go, as far as like emulation, Model 2 comes second. And I got uh, Virtual Cop 1 and 2 working and, and House of the Dead. Those are my favorites. I haven't played much of these first two, but I have them. I want to check them out more. And then there's the Model 3, which is you get the... Um, the newer Jurassic Park game, which is awesome. And then there's this also this space game. It's a Star Wars arcade game. So you use a light gun as a um, X-Wing fighter, and you can uh, you know kill other um, TIE fighters and stuff. Um, then comes PC. There's actually some really cool Steam games. This game right here, Blue Estate, I highly recommend that getting. It's like a Grand Theft Auto type of game. It's a mature game, but it's really fun. I really recommend it. And then, obviously, there's these ports of the classic games like House of the Dead 2 and 3 and things like that. Then comes the Techno Parrot emulator, which comes in different forms. There's the Model 2, which we already talked about. There's the Lindenburg, you know, House of the Dead 4. The other one that's not on this list is the Techno Parrot Transformer game is awesome. Golden Gun, amazing game. And then you have the Haunted Museum series, a lot of really game, good games for the Techno Parrot emulator. Then, it keeps going, you have all your PlayStation 2 games. For emulator uh, all these you can get to work I made a tutorial on how to use PlayStation 2 emulation then I believe you can also do PlayStation 1 as well in a similar fashion I haven't played with it myself there's a few light guns for PS1 and then you have the Wii U, the Wii which had a ton of light gun games and the Wii is in particular really easily to emulate um the hunting challenge they have um, a lot, House of the Dead 2 and 3, and House of the Dead Overkill. Both really great games. Um, they have quite a bit of light gun games. So you can emulate this, or you can even just hook up a Nintendo Wii and use the Wii remotes with this particular console. But I'd you know rather get the light guns that'll work for everything. So as far as light gun options, these are probably your two most common ones, one being the AimTrack light gun. You can also get the ArcadeGuns.com, and there's other people who make a similar standalone light gun. Then you have the um, Mayflash Dolphin Bar, which um, actually works really great. You can just use a Wii remote. Um, both these are kind of very similar. This one's slightly better in my opinion, but they're not revolutionary. And then we're getting the Sindin light gun soon. When that comes out, I might actually really go for that especially with how promising that technology seems. But as far as the compatibility on these, if you're running it on a Raspberry Pi, definitely go with the Dolphin Bar for now. Um, I just found it a little easier to do myself. If you're running a Windows-based PC and you want the better one, I might go with this one, but this one's still gonna be plenty good for you. Here, I just wanted to show you that you can absolutely bind your admin controls and joystick in CoinOps, or in a second, I'll show you on Big Box. You just have to bind those up. I would probably go with the iPack style encoder board, but here I'm using a Zinmo one, and it works. Um, it's just a little bit more work. If you have the money, go iPack. Whether using Big Box or LaunchBox can set your admin controls and joystick to actually operate the 
LaunchBox or CoinOps or whatever you want to use. So this is why it's nice to have a computer that has a Bluetooth dongle in it so you can just go ahead and, you know, add your favorite Bluetooth controller. Or if it has a 2.4 gigahertz, throw that in. Or you have these two ports in the front and I can simply add in an Xbox 360 controller. Again, I got a blue light now on my Xbox 360 and now I can actually navigate with my Xbox 360 controller. And let's just say I wanna play some Nintendo. So I head over to my Nintendo games. And then let's say I wanna play Super Mario. We simply click in. Let's go ahead and play it. So while I would have liked to do this with two different people, here I'd have my two hands just showing you, yes, you could play two-player light gun games. It takes a little bit more configuration to get set up, but uh, you know, here you go. And it all depends on which guns you're using or whatever, but it's absolutely possible to play two-player. All right, here we go. We're stashing drugs in this place. What do you say we give them all the house for? Down here, we just go shooting like that. Bad. What the? So in conclusion, I love it. I think it turned out fantastic. It is quite a little bit of work. And if you want, check out my other video. I'll be posting it the day after I post this video as far as how I built it, how to wire this all up and uh, answer some additional questions. And then if people have more questions for our software and light guns and things like that, check out my light gun playlist or throw me a question and maybe if it's a good topic, I'll make an entire video on it. So with all that said, two thumbs up, highly recommended. Links in the description if you're interested. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, unlimited and we'll uh, catch you on the next one.